Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Aptitude Club and uh, in today's session we are taking up this interesting question on uh, geometry and the reason I took up this question because uh, this involves two important concepts. Uh, one concept of course from geometry uh, because the question uh, like uh, is completely dependent on the geometric theorems and everything but yet uh, there is a new uh, rule uh, that we are taking it from algebra maxima minima say we are taking a property and we will be using it here. So beautifully integrated these two concepts and it's a very important question. So I thought of discussing it in this video. So before uh, proceeding in the video, if you are watching this, I would uh, request you to pause at this moment. Maybe try this uh, yourself first and then go to the explanation and check whether your answer is correct or not. So what basically has been given here is that there are two circles that touch each other externally, tangential circles. So these circles, they just touch each other. C is the center of the smaller circle and uh, O is the center of the bigger circle and uh, this is 90 degree that is given. Area of triangle ABC is 289 centimeter square. So this triangle ABC, this entire triangle, this area is given as 289 centimeter square. So we'll have to find the minimum possible value of CD. CD. So I'll uh, start like this. Let the radius of let the radius of the bigger circle let it be r and the radius of the smaller circle let it be small r. So capital R and small r. So then can I write CD as uh, r plus r plus small r. Can I write it in this way? So CD is basically 2R plus R because CD uh, this is R and this completely suppose I take this point as let's say P. So PD is the diameter now so this becomes R plus R and then R. So our objective is to minimize this. This is what the question is and we have been given the area of the triangle. So information wise quite crisp and short not too much information to start with. So what we'll do is naturally once we are given the area and this is 90 degree we'll be tempted to use half base into height. Let us use that and see what happens. Area of ABC, area of triangle ABC is equal to 289 it is given. How do I calculate area half into the base is AB into the height is OC. This is 289. So half, how much is AB? Look at AB. It is R plus R. So AB is equal to 2R. And how much is OC? OC is like R plus R. OC is like R plus R. This is equal to 289. So I get this result R whole into R plus R. This is like 289. This we got, but our objective is to minimize 2R plus R. So how do we get there? Once we have this result with us, how do we get there? So there is this interesting property. So this property we are going to use. Beautiful question. Arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean is always greater than or equal to the harmonic mean. This is the arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean of two things. Suppose I am taking two things, so it is a plus b by 2 is greater than or equal to the geometric mean. So geometric mean is basically a b to the power 1 by 2 or square root of a b, whichever you put it. And if you want to know what is harmonic mean, so harmonic mean is like 2 a b by a plus b. I will talk about these uh, different types of means in some other video. But today's video, mein, we are using this property. Arithmetic mean is greater than equal to geometric mean. We don't need harmonic mean here. So think about these things. Uh, let us say we have two things. On one side we have R and on the other side we have R plus R. Let us say these are my two things. So for these two things, the arithmetic mean is greater than equal to geometric mean. Now you can ask why did I take these two things? 
because here I am getting the product of these two things. So, what is the arithmetic mean of R and R plus R? It is R plus R plus R divided by 2. This is greater than or equal to the geometric mean R whole into R plus R to the power 1 by 2. Or I get 2R plus R divided by 2 is greater than or equal to R into R plus R. The product is 289. So, 289 square root. Now, how much is 2R plus R? We saw here that 2R plus R is basically CD. So, I get CD by 2 is greater than or equal to 17. That means CD is greater than or equal to 34. Hence, what is the minimum value of CD? 34 and that is our answer. Beautiful question. CD is greater than or equal to 34 and basically you will have to calculate minimum CD. So, it is either 34 or more than that and that is our answer. So, how beautifully they have used uh, these two concepts in the question. So, very important, very important uh, quants question which involves geometry as well as maxima minima concept. Hope all of you understood this quite simple question. And if you have missed the previous questions, I have pinned them in the description and the I section as well. So, do watch it out. And if you are new to my channel and you are watching this video for the first time, I hope you enjoyed the explanation. For more such con content, uh, do subscribe to the Aptitude Club channel and watch the previous videos. Hope it will help you in your CAD preparation journey. We'll meet again very soon in yet another video. Till then, keep studying, keep uh, learning. Have a nice day, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.